Danny Acosta here with UFC middleweight contender Mark Munoz. Mark, you got this fight with Chael Sonnen in the UFC on Fox 2. What's it like to get the invite to be on the first, really, uh, card on Fox? Uh, it's a huge honor to be able to be on Fox, you know, to, to showcase our sport uh, mainstream on a network like Fox. It's, um, it's, un it's an unbelievable opportunity. I can't even speak right now because <laughs> I'm, you know, yeah. I'm just lost for words. No, but it's, it's a great, great opportunity for sure. If we could take a step back real quick, are you a pro wrestling fan at all? <laughs> you know what, man? I, I haven't, honestly, I haven't been watching pro wrestling at all. Um, but I used to watch it when, you know, when there was, you know, Junkyard Dog, when there was uh, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, George the Animal Steel, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I watched it with back then, but now I don't really watch too much. Uh, so you don't know who CM Punk is? I don't. Uh, CM Punk is actually a pro wrestler. He's a WWE champion. He's going to be cornering Chael Sonnen. Have you heard this? Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, man. That's cool. Are you, are you excited for Chael? He is. Yeah, dude, I'm excited for Chael, for CM Punk to come out with him, man. That's cool. That's, that's awesome. Cool. And if you could pick a pro wrestler uh, from back in the day, you know, dead or alive, who, who would you like in your corner? Ric Flair. Ric Flair, the, the nature boy. He's alive. The you can call him. Boy. Woo! I would call him out for sure, man. If he can walk out with me, he'd be walking like, be walking like that, dude. That'd be sweet. <laughs> uh, and with this fight, you know, you've wrestled Chael before. You guys are on friendly terms. Uh, what's it like uh, having experienced him before going to this fight? Uh, I know Chael's gonna bring it, man. You know, I know that he's he's uh, just a fierce competitor. I am too. And you just, man, you're gonna see two fierce competitors go at it. So. You better not blink, cause it's you know it's gonna be a high paced fight for sure. After he beat Brian Stan, and after you got your win over Chris Lieben, uh, you made the case for yourself as the number one contender. Is this kind of the best case scenario because you got to prove it now inside the cage versus Chael Sonnen, who a lot of people felt was the number one contender? Yeah, I think I think this is a great fight for me because um, I, I want to be at the top. He does too, and you know for us to fight for number one contender spot. This is the real. This is the real deal, you know. For him to to do what he did to Brian Stan for me, what for what I did to Chris Lieben, and now this is this is for somewhat all the marbles, you know. All the marbles is you know real, you know. But uh, but right now it's you know we're we're fighting for number one contender, and you know it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Chael hasn't had too much to say about you. Like you said, it's been pretty respectful, but he's had a lot to say about Anderson Silva, a, a friend of yours. Yeah. What do you make of Chael's anti-Anderson campaign? Uh, you know, I mean, he's he he talks a big game. You know, I mean, he he backs it up though. That's the thing about Chael is he's a very colorful personality and he backs it up. You know, and uh, regardless if you like him or not, you're thinking about him. You know, and that he's a great great. Um, market. He, I mean, he's he markets himself, man. He 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 talks and he knows he knows where to uh, he knows where to um, kind of just say what he needs to say, and he knows he knows when to do it, and it's been working for him thus far. There's another contender fight on the card, and it's in your division. It's Damian Maya, someone you've uh, had a win over, and Michael Bisping, who a lot of people feel is right there with you, and Chael Sonnen as a number one contender. Do you think that uh, the stakes are higher for you guys, that you have to shine over not just Chael Sonnen, but also Michael Bisping? Um, you know what? I don't really, I'm not really too concerned about uh, Michael Bisping and Damian Maya fight, although, you know, although I, I am going to watch those two fight. But at the same time, I got, I got Chael on my mind. You know, I, you know, I got, I got, a, I got a big task in, ahead of me. You know, and and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna train accord accordingly. <clears throat> For Michael Bisbane and and Damian Maya, I know what Damian Maya brings to the table, and and I see Michael Bisbane, and um, it's gonna be a good fight. Those two are gonna be a good fight. But uh, but, you know, right now I'm looking to become a world champ. You know. And with a win over Chael Sonnen, it's going to get me a notch closer. Uh, what can fans expect from you on network TV, on UFC, on Fox 2? Just a high-paced fight. Bombs flying from everywhere. You're going to see me trying to finish the fight wherever I'm at. And it's, it's, it's going to be an awesome fight. I've never been in a boring fight, and I'm just going to go out there and I'm going to bring it. Mark Munoz.